Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Kicking off today with some updates on some Jazzwares figures, per usual. People are, are citing the new holiday season Pikachu out in various stores. They have been spotted in the two packs over at Walmart. And if you were looking for just like the individuals of the Pikachu, those are actually also over at Five Below. So keep an eye out, let us know down in the comments if you've been seeing these anywhere, so this way everybody can go try to hunt them. Additionally, we have some news on some upcoming figures from the Mongkali line over in Japan. Coming up real soon, we've got Baxcalibur, we've got Mousehold, Iron Thorns, Walking Wake, and Terrapagos in its two different forms. And I feel like the, these figures have actually improved over time. These are looking really good. In addition to those figures, we are also getting some new plushies over in Japan, which includes a number of different Pokemon, but more specifically, we've got a Captain Pikachu and we've got a Shiny Rayquaza. So both of those I think are gonna be really good pickups. In a different line, we are getting more plushies. In Japan, these are hitting Pokemon centers on the 4th, so just this past week. There's Tandem Mouse, Mabostiff, Grievard, and Claude Sire. And usually these types of plushies, these do show up in the uh, international Pokemon centers online. So could do, you got a 50-50 shot on like whether or not you should import it. And speaking of Claude Sire, Community Day was this past weekend on Pokemon Go featuring Whooper of the Jotonian and the Paldean versions. And maybe because of that, maybe not, I don't know. Either way, we are getting this giant Claude Sire plushie that does come with a Paldean Whooper. If you buy the Claude Sire, it does come with the Whooper. But if you need more Paldean Whooper in your life, it does actually come also in a 10 pack or even a 30 pack of Paldean Whooper. If you get the just one plushie, you do get a sitting Paldean Whooper. But if you go and order the 10 or the 30 pack, you do get a laying on its side Paldean Whooper. The whole thing's not cheap though, with the just the Clots Iron and the Whooper coming in at about 150 bucks. And then the pack of 30 coming in at just over 300 US dollars. But can you really put a price on all this cuteness? Taking a step outside of Japan again, we did have a photo of the Funko Pearlescent Eevee come out uh, over this past week. No word on like a release date for this thing, but because we got the photo, maybe that's, you know, maybe it's gonna be this week, maybe it's gonna be next week, sometime in December. Uh, not exactly sure yet, but I think right now, everyone's kind of estimating around December. But what did come out was the Luxury Ball on Pokemon Center. This thing looks so good. It's $120 though, so definitely I'm gonna have to start budgeting for this thing because I really wanna pick it up. And I remember a while back, this it was stated that this was a Pokemon Center exclusive item, but I don't see any official statement on any of the listings or anywhere on the site, so I'm not exactly sure if it is or not yet. But either way, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick this up at least eventually. Over in the video games, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC finally got its release date. It's coming out on December 14th. But if you do plan on picking up this new DLC, make sure you have beaten everything leading up to that because then you will actually get access to it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be sitting there waiting for you. And then starting this past week on November 3rd, there is a new distribution for a Fido in Scarlet and Violet, at least anybody over in South Korea. So if you're traveling there anytime very, very soon, you'll be able to get this Fido. It is the first ever event distributed Pokemon that's gonna have a ribbon and a mark, specifically the classic ribbon and the uncommon mark. So. That's pretty cool, but if you like see that, you know, out in the GTS or something, just know that it's maybe not fake. In terms of cards, this past week we had the official release of Paradox Rift. We actually just started opening up the set with our ETBs, so I'll make sure to have that somewhere in this video. And to celebrate, your GameStop is supposed to have some new promo cards. GameStop will have an Iron Moth with the GameStop logo in the bottom right of the actual artwork, which is hands down my least favorite type of promo. But if you prefer Best Buy, they also might have one of these promos. They are gonna be giving out Slitherwing, which will have the actual set logo in the same corner, which looks so much better. Either way, as long as one of your stores has them actually, I feel like there's been distribution errors with this the past like four of these things, but all you gotta do is spend $15 in store on Pokemon trading card game products, and you'll be able to get that promo at no additional cost. Then depending on how early your Walmart has been setting up for Black Friday deals, there has been spotted a new Walmart Pokemon card box. Usually these things are super hot each season, but there is a Crown Zenith Pikachu VMAX box. These boxes contain two more packs than the original box when that first came out, and it'll be costing $25. Official release date on the box is November 10th, so it's coming up here real soon. So keep an eye out in your stores. Probably gonna be your best bet on picking one of these things up. And then also, probably equally as popular, the Oinkalone EX promo box also came out this past Friday. It's a Best Buy exclusive, at least here in the States. Also, 
That was sarcasm, in case you, like, it didn't land. Anyways, this box is going to be coming with four packs of cards. You're going to get an Oinkalone EX, a regular size, and a jumbo sized Oinkalone EX. There's a hollow Lechonk, and, of course, there's a code card in there. But if you don't have a Best Buy and you're in Canada, there's actually, uh, Mastermind Toys has them, so I'll link that down below as well for you. Then, finally, the Gyarados EX Premium Collection came out. This, I've talked about this a couple times on the channel. Really great collection. As I was going through online, seems like inventory is really good on this one. Maybe your area is a little bit different, but uh, if you want to go pick this up, it is now available. I do imagine this probably is going to be a popular item in the long run, so you might want to pick one up for the collection. And you would be very popular if you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button on your way out. Always lots of cool things to talk about in the Pokemon world, so make sure down below let me know your favorite stuff that we talked about today. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.